Uh, we told you when Roe v. Wade went that contraception was next. And some of you wrote in and said, David, you're fear mongering. David, it's a slippery slope fallacy. No, it's never going to happen. Oh, wait a second. Trump now says he's looking at restricting birth control. And by the way, this isn't me patting myself on the back. It was obvious that this was the direction it was going. It's really important not to fall for a slippery slope fallacy when it is a fallacy. But we know that they don't plan to stop at Roe v. Wade. Here is Donald Trump being interviewed yesterday. Do you support any restrictions on a person's right to contraception? The right answer, the clear answer would be, of course not. Abortion is one thing, but contraception is something else altogether. Instead, when Trump is asked, do you support any restrictions on contraception? He says it is indeed something he is looking at. So related to this is the whole issue of contraceptives. Do you support any restrictions on a person's right to contraception? Well, we're looking at that and I'm going to have a policy on that very shortly. And I think it's something that you'll find interesting. And it's another issue that's very interesting. But you will uh, you will find it, I think, very smart. I think it's a smart decision, but we'll be releasing it very soon. So this might be like Trump's health care plan that was going to be out two weeks from August of 2020, which still hasn't come out. He may never release a proposal about contraception, but anything other than no, no, no contraception. Of course, of course, that's going to remain available. There is a real slippery slope here. And Trump's admission confirms that the overturning of Roe v. Wade was just the beginning of this attack on reproductive rights. And there is the danger here of setting a precedent where everything is on the table. It's all on the table and we could be looking at rolling back. We've been saying decades we could be getting close to we would we would say we're rolling back almost a hundred years of progress on women's health, autonomy and and contraceptive access. And this is part of the bigger war uh, on women's health. And this stance aligns with the most extreme elements of the Republican Party. We're talking health consequences. We're talking societal consequences. And if ever there were any doubt as to the critical importance of vigilantly protecting reproductive rights at every level of government, federal, state, local, whatever, it is this. It is this. And the people who said that's they're never going to do that. Well, here is Trump saying maybe they will do it. He's certainly not ruling it out. Trump then, by the way, right? I mean, it's like obviously. He also refuses to rule out signing a national abortion ban. So if Congress passes a 15 week pill, you'd veto it. You'd veto it. I don't think there'd be any reason for it. So if Con I don't think there'd be any reason for it rather than, oh, I would never sign a national abortion ban. And then just as a bonus from this bonkers interview, Trump uh, is sort of like confronted about some of his nonsense 2020 election theories. And Trump just says, ah, the courts threw everything out. The courts did the wrong thing. Well, let's you see what happened. Uh, 2000 mules. Take a look at 2000 mules. You see what happened. They dropped ballots into boxes. The box, the ballots, many of them weren't even signed. We had cases, many cases where you had more ballots than you had voters. Wrong. It's a very primitive system. It's a very, very third world system and not in all states. But in many of the swing states, which are very important right. for this, uh, very terrible things go on. Well, very, not, very terrible. But the things. courts didn't agree with any of the claims. Agree with any of the claims. Say it again. I'm sorry. The courts Say in Pennsylvania did not seem to agree. By the way, there's a crazy delay where we're hearing it twice through a speaker in Trump's room. It's wild. With any of the claims of anything going wrong in the 2020 election. They didn't have the courage to do what they had to do. They, the courts were very disappointing. They didn't have the courage. to. Yeah. So Trump says every single court decision that would, was made contradicting his wild claims about 2020, the courts just lacked courage and they were they were disappointing. So the big takeaway here. Everybody who has said Roe v. Wade is not the end of the line was absolutely correct. They're going to push for more. It's dangerous and we can deny it to them. Vote them out of control of the House, keep them away from controlling the Senate, and let's really make sure Trump doesn't get four more years.
It is time to start thinking like voters and to make sure that kids understand the importance of voting, how it works, registering ballot initiatives, because so many kids just have no idea. That's why I wrote the new children's book. Think like a voter. I can think of no better time and no more important group of folks to try to reach. The book is now available at davidpackmancom slash book, where, by the way, you can get the first two books in the series as well. Think like a detective and think like a scientist. Really important stuff. Donate them to local libraries, classrooms, read them with the kids. davidpackmancom slash book.